Hello, this is Muddy Gamer with a quick sort of tips on clothing to wear for mud runs. Um, I'll make this short because I'm running out of video space. Um, so I'm going to start with trainers and the pair that I use are New Balance. They are, I don't know if you can see that, if it's going to zoom in or not, MT20 BC2s. Um, this is a very good shoe. It's very light. It has the Vibrams. Um, technology on the bottom as you can see um, these have had over a year of abuse now and they hold up pretty well they're very good at drainage <laughs> um, even more now so that they've got that crease in that rip there that's taken forever to happen these were in top nick about three weeks ago and uh, yeah they, they just they decided to foul after a while but they, I still use them now as a a daily trainer until I uh, buy some more for the uh, the up and coming Spartan race and Tough Mudder I'm about to do. Um, yeah, so these are a good shooter. Good if you've got a nice wide foot. I've got quite wide feet. Um, the grip on them is uh, exceptionally good actually, even when it's quite slippery and wet. It doesn't look like it, but they all started off um, with that little grippy pattern on them and they've slowly worn down over trials, running, etc. Um, but yeah, they're, they're pretty good. They're very lightweight, so, and they, as I said before, they drain well, which is important. Um, a tip for if you're new to mud events would be take a, take a pot of Vaseline with you. Sounds horrible. Vaseline your feet before you put them in your socks. Because when you do that, you create a barrier. You don't notice it once your feet are in your socks. You really don't. But if you don't do it, you'll get your feet all rub and they'll blister. Um, by doing it, you give a little bit of a barrier to stop the friction. Um, it's, it's just, it just makes it more comfortable as you're doing the longer runs. I mean, it probably doesn't matter with the 5Ks, but when you're doing a 13-mile mud run, it, it's, it's, it's a bit of a must, really. Um, it's like you would if you were a sprinter, oh, sorry, a sprinter, a long-distance runner, and you were running a marathon, you'd put a bit on your chest to stop nipple chafe. Um, so you do it for your feet when you're going to be putting them in water. Um, so yeah, that's shoes done. Oh, well, am I? This is also something might be worth investing if you want to carry on doing mud runs. That's a little GPS trip that um, goes to this Nike GPS watch. Uh, these are quite good. You can pick them up quite cheap secondhand. The um, reason I've got this is because it's waterproof. So it means that when I do the uh, Leap of Faith and any of the other water obstacle course, uh, island hopping, if I go in, it doesn't really matter. So yeah, this is this is a pretty good bit of kit. Um, all right, I'm gonna compare two t-shirts here. One that worked for me, one that didn't. Basically, this is the one I've done my first Tough Mudder in. Um, and this is a very, very good t-shirt. Uh, so much so, I probably still don't fit in it because I've uh, grown through going down the gym. Um, but I keep it just in case I ever get down to that slender size that I was. Um, this is, fairly tight when it when i was a bit more slender uh, but it just uh, it takes the moisture off your skin keeps you cool when you need to ventilated it's got pockets in the side of it um so this was brilliant it's uh what i'm trying to think that's the brand just in case you want to get you pick them up from decathlon um i don't know 12 quid this was a, a buy for training for it because it was cold while I was training and this is cool gear to keep you warm uh, and it does exactly that to be honest but what I found the problem is I have really should, I've got quite a wide neck uh, eight, 18 inches neck and I found that this just felt like I was being choked constantly um, so that was a bit of a, a mistake for me but uh, yeah these are good good bits of kit um, so I'll just pan onto here while I just talk about the other bits of kit um, they're not here because uh, I've lent my uh, compression socks out to a friend and uh, you don't really need to see running so uh, running shorts because running shorts are running shorts. Get a good pair of netted running shorts. You don't have to uh, necessarily wear too many layers of clothing. Um, and get some compression socks. Compression socks are a must uh, because your calves take a huge pounding from doing burling walls, log jamming, island hopping, and the just the general cross country bits between. They do take a pound in, and those who didn't have compression socks on, their calves ached the day after. I had compression socks on. I was climbing ladders uh, and working the following day from doing Tough Mudder, doing London South last year. Um, 
which I can highly recommend. If any of you are thinking about doing it, just do it. It's not as hard as it seems. If you believe you can do it, your body will carry you there. It's uh, it's one of those things that we got to the end and we all wanted more, which I'm glad this year because I'm doing it again. Um, and we've got the what's it called mother legion now which means i get to do a little bit extra on the course um but yeah so a, a brief overlook would be these new balance mt20s are a brilliant shoe they drain really well um they last really well as i said uh something to track your progress because they don't time the courses um needs to be waterproof um stuff that's not too tight but definitely not loose. You don't want to be getting snagged on things when you're doing like, again, log jamming or going under the barbed wire with kiss of mud and things like that. You just don't want to be getting snagged. You don't want to put yourself in a position where you can be jumping over a wall and your t-shirt or your shorts get snagged and then you, you land wrong and you're injured and you're out. You want to make sure that you've got the right kit uh, to make sure you can do a mud run, OCR of any sort, warrior run, wh whatever you're thinking of doing. Try not to wear baggy. Don't go too tight that you can't breathe, but try not to wear baggy because it will uh, it will benefit you in the end. And um, yeah, um, if you like this video and it's been helpful at all, please click a like. If you haven't liked it, leave a comment and I'll read them. Constructive criticism is always welcome. Um, and if you, if you liked it and you want to see more, please don't hesitate in subscribing. This has been Muddy Gamer. I'll see you soon.